Welcome back. I'm not sure if you can see what's behind me, but that is the elevator that I built a few episodes ago. It used to be right in the middle of this section, but I don't know what happened. I guess it has a mind of its own and now it's gone. Either way, I've got a couple of updates to share with you guys at the beginning of today's episode of the survival series. And also yesterday I did a reaction video, which means I didn't really get to play on the server. In terms of updates, there's not much new going on over here besides the fact that the elevator, like I just said, decided to get up and fly away and it's no longer usable. Speaking of which, let me go over here and investigate it. And what is going on? Uh, I'll show you what it looked like a few episodes ago on screen. And yeah, it definitely didn't look like this. I'm going to try to use it though. I'm very interested to see what happens. And yo, it actually still works. It's a little lopsided and you know, it's obviously not flying in the right direction. It's actually flying the opposite way, but it's kind of crazy that it actually works. Either way, let's break this and see what happens. And it looks like we're going into free fall. Oh, and we popped the balloons. Am I going to die? Oh, okay. Just a little bit of experimentation. Nothing wrong with that. But anyway, we've got a lot to get to. Thanks for clicking on the video. Let's get over to our base. And for those of you guys who have been following the series, you might know that we've been hinting at a super special guest joining our world. I'm very happy to say that that person has actually joined and we can't show it in today's video. If I'm being honest with you, it's not up to me. I'm waiting for him to release his video first. So in the meantime, down in the comments, if you guys have any guesses as to who that special guest is, comment it down below. And one person who guesses it correctly will win some V-Bucks. Just make sure you also attach your epic in the comment and make sure you subscribe. And I'll give you one hint, 360 no scope. And we've made it back over to our main base, but I need to take you guys back in time. There are not only a lot of changes that you guys haven't seen on video from my main base, but also my desert mansion, my ocean village, and so much more. In preparation for our duo joining, I actually went ahead and cleaned up a bunch of my servers so they were met with nice and fully built out villages. Again, like I already said, as soon as his video drops, I will be sure to drop mine with him as well. And that's his bed right there. If I move any closer, it might leak the name, so I'm not going to. But let's go ahead and jump back in time so I can take you through all of the work that was done in our villages. Okay, here we go. So in only a few hours, I have a special guest joining our world. And in preparation for that, I got to fix all of my villages. You know, honestly, I'd feel really bad if you came to this village right here and it was the way it is right now because it is not close to being presentable. Obviously, I've been doing a lot of renovations on this place, but there are some problems that have come with it. And as you can see already, the flooring that I'm walking on is not completed. And there's a lot of work that we have to get done. There's also a lot of rough edges around this entire place. Some of the buildings aren't decorated and so much more. So we're going to come up here and grab all of the things we're going to need. Basically just a bunch of wood and other building materials. And we're basically already ready. But as you can see, we're also smelting some iron. Reason for that is we are going to be making a starter chest for him to enjoy. So we're going to craft him some charms and other things as well. And jumping right into the work that we're going to be doing, you can see that I've already started destroying the floor around my restaurant. The restaurant interior is going to be the next thing we do. But first we got to focus on the flooring around it. You know, this flooring has been incomplete for a long time and I've never addressed it until now. It is work that I've been meaning to do for a while though. So it is nice to finally be destroying it. So as you can see, what we're doing here is basically just trimming it and making the outline a little bit more narrow and that should work for now. One side is complete, but as you can see, this other side is where we need to do even more work. Cause yeah, I just can't present my village like this. It just feels a little embarrassing. And rounding out this final corner piece, we now have two sides that are a lot more narrow and now the edges are actually clean, but it's time to get straight to work on the inside of this thing. You know, I've said this thing is a restaurant from day one, yet there's been no decorations to even show that it's a restaurant. Okay, and as you saw from that last time lapse, we now have a beautiful restaurant. So if we go through the front doors, we have the hostess stand. Oh, there he is. We even have frozen fish stick actually cooking us food inside of here. But if we come around this side, we have our entire bar section. I didn't add any props on top of the shelving just because I'm still a little bit worried about memory. But outside of that, obviously this place looks a lot better now. We've got a ton of different tables with seating. And then up top, we also went ahead and added this campfire. That way, if we look at it from some distance, you can kind of see that there's smoke coming from the top. And that gives it the vibe that there's actually something cooking inside of there. So yeah, overall, I think the restaurant looks a lot better. Let's continue with our renovation because we are not done. And this is only the first of three villages that we're going to be renovating in this video. Okay. And after a few more minor tweaks on camera, including adding some pillars and some other stuff, we have this. I just crafted the sword, which means we basically have our full storage chest that we're going to give to our friend. You guys just saw what was inside of there. Honestly, I think that's the perfect way to start out in survival mode. I don't know if there's anything else you could really need. And the next place 
place we renovated is actually our desert mansion. I know it's been a while since I've been here and I'm not even sure that we're going to actually stop by this place. But if you didn't remember from the past, this was the only room in the entire place besides my own. And I mean, you've already basically seen this entire room. There's not much to see here. We got Petra's bed. We got a desk for her, another desk and another desk i don't know why i put three desks in here anyway we also have a bathroom that doesn't have a door which i should honestly probably just make a door real quick and i know what you guys are already thinking this still isn't a door but it's better than what we had before so don't even complain okay also the villagers over here no longer have beds except for two of them we have nugget who we acquired recently i kind of just like his little cowboy hat so i kept him around and then of course we have petra who i honestly haven't seen in a long time but we got the two of them and we also have a few more designs inside of here and i'm now hot so i'm gonna go grab a charm all right and we are back so i didn't do much here and as you can see it's basically just one room with a very ugly wall okay that looks a little bit better but as you can see we made another bedroom up here and it's not fully built out i really like my bedroom more down here but up here we have a bed which belongs to our new villager nugget and some pretty simple cabinetry and benches and that's basically all we did here besides add some pillars inside of here and also add a wall but yeah simply doing that it's already more filled out and we're gonna continue back on this village in some future videos if you guys want to see it i honestly just have so many build projects nowadays i don't know what you guys want to see so if you ever want to see something and you're not seeing it in the videos comment down below and at this point you guys have to be ogs if you remember what's up here basically when i originally built out this desert mansion this was a monorail that transported us back and forth between these villages i think it was only on episode like three or something so it was super early on in the series shout out to you if you remember that but we're still not done with our work here because we have more to improve on we're headed over towards arguably my favorite build in the entire server which is the ocean village because there's a big section of that that's still empty so i'll see you guys when we're over there because we have a lot of building to get to all right and we are here first thing i'm doing is chopping down these staircases because i feel like these look super ugly they were right outside of my ocean village and honestly i just felt like they didn't need to be there anymore i'm gonna leave all of the ones that are sitting in the water like the one we just swam by but now that we're here it's time to get to work i believe the first thing i want to do is make a barbecue pit section off in the corner so we'll start by placing a campfire and then we're gonna section this whole part out with railings and we're adding these tiny little corner sections to make it look even better and that's our campfire oh wait where did you come from no shot we got carl reef here again can we take him on an adventure please tell me i can okay so this village is glitched but maybe just maybe come on no it's not an option to take him on an adventure he can no dude oh that's so unfortunate like we literally have them right here but we can't take them on an adventure yeah the only option is to stay at our village and if you guys were not yet aware um this village is completely glitched we can put down a bed here and try it again but even if i hit live in my village there's no bed this is the villager that i probably wanted the most i don't know what to do just f's in chat anyway let's not let that stop us from what we were gonna do next and in the area that i'm standing right now we are gonna attempt to build another shed All right, and showing this thing off now that it is complete, as you can see, we have this entire shed with nothing under it yet, but it's honestly a really cool looking shed. Also at the top of it, I'm realizing now that one of these pieces is actually off-centered, but it's actually our first ever fireplace that we've built, and I think it came out amazing. I think that the right thing to put here is gonna eventually be a metal smelter because it makes a lot of sense, you know, we have fire coming out of the top. The other thing we did that I didn't show on video is actually build a bridge over to our nice little pirate ship. Before the bridge was here, there was just a giant giant gap and there was actually no way to get across unless you had a grapple so yeah to make everything a little bit easier i went ahead and i made this nice tiny little bridge i think this is probably the thing that i'm most excited to share with this person i mean this whole entire village is probably my favorite project and honestly that whole entire video was just a ton of fun i have some ideas on how i can expand this village even more so maybe i'll do that in a future episode but yeah that's basically everything we did here again i know i showed this build but i didn't show the final product of it and what we did was we made a barbecue a bench and of course the final fireplace there's always room to add more props but for now i think this is a good start like we can add some barrels in the corner i guess but nothing like this is really needed and again i'm always scared about memory a little bit so i won't add too much oh look at that we got fish stick oh man there's just so many cool villagers that stay here and honestly i'm not too upset about not being able to get fish stick but i am upset about not being able to get carl reef you do not understand how badly i want him in my world and they just keep teasing me with him but unfortunately it's just not gonna work out but yeah let's go ahead and get out of this place <gasps> wait 
Who are you? Sally Sales. This is another. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, I have 15 friends. I have 15 friends. Oh, this is horrible. We're not gonna be able to get her either. We're gonna have to wait five days before Durberger disappears, and I think that Sally Sales will be gone by then. Live in my village. Okay, okay, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna place a bed down now that we destroyed Durburgers and we're gonna hit live in my village and I already have 15 friends. I'm actually gonna sit here for the next five days with a bed next to me and just hope that Durburger disappears and that Sally Sales is still here. Okay, I'm gonna emote so Sally Sales gets up here and then I'm gonna build her in. Okay, we got a bed right outside. I'm just hoping she doesn't disappear. I don't know if she's gonna disappear, but we're just gonna sit here for the next five days and hope for the best. And it wasn't even five days. Sally Sales is no longer here, unfortunately. And yeah, we still have Durberger. I'm actually gonna keep his bed removed so that Durberger disappears from this village though, just because when a villager does show up again, and I know that a cool villager will show up here, I wanna make sure that we actually have room because that was an absolute failure right there. But yeah, guys, I kind of just wanted to catch you all up on the work that we've been doing across all of our villages in preparation for our duo coming in. The video should be up sometime this weekend, so be sure to stay tuned, not only to my channel, Channel, but just across YouTube because you're gonna see a few videos pop up probably anyway apologies for the shorter video tomorrow's video is gonna be an absolute grind though and I think part of it is actually gonna be here at this ocean village because I want to build this out more it's obviously not even close to being completed and in preparation for the big update on the 23rd I want to make sure that I have a level 10 village that actually works in every single biome this is the shore biome and as you can see it's only level 5 at the moment all my other bases are covered I have a desert village a grasslands and of course a snow biome this is the last one we need as always, be sure to subscribe, and I'm sorry that this video was a little bit shorter. I promise you I did a lot of work, but I end up always just cutting a lot of it out. To make it up to you all, I'm gonna try my hardest to do a 20-minute video tomorrow. Don't hold me to it. But I feel like you guys definitely deserve it, so I'm gonna try my hardest to do that. Code Kaz in the item shop. Subscribe for daily LEGO Fortnite videos if you haven't already, and it's been your boy Kaz. I'll catch y'all later. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end of this one. Peace.